Guys, welcome back. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Vampire Neon Age stream. I am your host, the Salvager of Secrets. And I know we said we weren't going to do a lot of, uh, a lot of M19 drafts up until tomorrow when the Pro Tour Cube drops, but we were, we did go 6 3 yesterday for six packs. So we got a little bit, got a little rejuvenation in us right now. Pretty sure we're going to first pick this Meteor Golem. I don't like, I like Poison Tip Archer. But it is a two-color card. This is a zero-color card. And it destroys anything. I want to take the Golem. I think you guys know I have an affinity for the Golem, even though it does not itself have affinity. Also, this is a two-color card, but I think it's way better than most of the other cards in this pack. I think you could make a case for Essence Scatter. I think you could make a case for Volley Veteran, but I don't think it's... I think this is far and away one of the strongest cards. And if any of these four come back, I'll be fine. I doubt they will, but maybe. Johnny's Pride Mate. Could have taken Essence Scatter now. We could also take an Aviation Pioneer, which gives us a nice uh, nice little a little duo for our Skyrider Patrol. <laughs> Your green screen's a little messed up. See you later. <laughs> Brian, thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Hope you get some work done, and uh, I'm sure I'll chat with you soon. Hmm. I do like Pioneer. I might like Essence Scatter better, just because the green decks don't tend to have a lot of removal. But an early Pioneer does help us out with certain things. I think I'll see more Pioneers than I will Scatters, to be quite honest. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take the scatter. I think, yeah, see, like, this is exactly what I mean. This is exactly what I'm talking about. There's another Aviation Pioneer right there. Uh, we also passed one Essence Scatter, so I don't want to pass two. It is like a Blue Doom Blade. I, I, I agree with that. It's obviously more limited because it's a reactive and a proactive card. But, um, I think it's actually Golem. I think Golem is better than Sleep. Doom Blueade. That's good. That's very good. I can tell you're really trying hard. Or hardly trying. It's hard to say. It's one of these two. But it's shiny. Alright. Matthew Ori, I swear if you don't if you don't take pictures of those those beautiful Oh god, another Essence Scatter and a Rex Sage. In this format I've actually I think Rex Sage is fantastic. You probably just play it main deck, it kills so many things. I'm gonna take the Rex Sage here. We're going to hope one of these Essence Scatters comes back. Maybe the Sleep comes back. I've seen Stranger Things. Stranger Things is a good show. I've seen Stranger Things. Oh, I see. I see. You guys are doing a bit of a meme in there. That's nice. Uh, the Cruel Control deck actually did pretty good. I was I was very satisfied with the, the final result of the deck. So hopefully you guys uh, you guys can check it out on YouTube and see the most recent iteration. Oh god, here we go, guys. Here we go. This is how it starts. One, two, three, four. This is a sixth pick Psychic Symbiont. God, it's all like good stuff. To be fair, this deck is like just gas uncommons and a really good common, so. Sky Scanner or Snapping Drake? I like Sky Scanner better, especially with Skyrider Patrol, because you can just make it a lot a larger threat. Um Yeah, I think it's Sky Scanner. It also helps us get our... We want to hit land drops to hit seven drops and six drops. So I think we're actually just taking this guy. 
never punished. Fantastic. That's not true. We pun punish quite frequently, but Rupture Spire is just great. Uh, Salvager of Secrets is probably pretty going to be pretty good here, eventually, and uh, I think it's significantly better than both of those guys. All right, so Uncomfortable Chill came back, which I think is playable in this format, especially against the red-white decks, which are prevalent. I don't think it's Field Creeper. I think it's probably just Chill for the sideboard. Foul Orchard, also very, very solid. Um, yeah, I feel comfortable taking that with a Psychic Symbiont in the, in the background there. Blanchwood armor? I feel like it's not great, but it shouldn't be going around this late. Especially if it's like a sky scanner with a Blanchwood armor. It can probably just win a game. I have become uncomfortably chill. I do want some ramp here because we have double meteor golems and a symbiont. But Foul Orchard and Rupture Spire were actually fantastic pickups for this. Mystic Archaeologist is fantastic. Getting to the late game in this format and just being able to draw two cards for five mana every single turn is pretty insane. Uh, I like Sift. I like Anticipate. But I don't like any of these cards over Mystic Archaeologist. That card is great. There's no way we only got three matches in. We had to get more than three matches in. I know we got like four matches in. I feel like I wouldn't have stopped playing it if we didn't get three matches, if we only got three matches in. And also like, I feel like we, we changed things more than three times. I think the video goes up today. I think it went up today. Let me check. Yeah, still definitely taking this. I think it's better than Cancel, Disperse, Totally Lost. It's definitely better than all of the other options. Another Sky Scanner. I really like Sky Scanner. It just chumps on the ground. It's it's a flying threat. You can pump it with Sky Rider Patrol. It draws us further into our deck. That's weird because it's two hours. Like the video is two hours long. Humans. Ironworks. I guess we should focus on what we're taking here. Yeah, it's Sky Scanner. I mean, like other options, Blood of Nation, but we have a lot of card advantage, especially with Archaeologist, Double Symbiont, Salvager. Like, I don't think we need Blood Divination. I think I'd rather just have a Sky Scanner. The part of Deckhand is great. That's a card we'll take. Also, Manolith could be an option. Just ramping us is really valuable. I think Deckhand is better, and we can probably get a Manolith slash Rejuvenator type card. I'm blown away that there's only three matches. I could have sworn it was more because it's like two two hours, ten minutes. It's super long. Skilled Animator with two Sky Scanners. That actually could be a, a, con a consideration. I also just like Aviation Pioneer. I think it's better on its own. Spots the other times where you're just kind of a dick. <laughs> like, I usually like having you around because you're pretty funny, but sometimes you're just kind of a dick. Like, alternatively, like, we have double Sky Scanner. We also have two lands that splash our two black cards. So, 
no fixing is really weird to say when we literally have two fixing. So it's just kind of strange. I think it's Pioneer. I really don't want to play like uh, Declare Dominance is pretty funny here. Also Dwindle's good removal, but I think it's actually Declare Dominance here. Thornhide Wolves are fine. I think it's between the Dwindle or the Declare Dominance. We have 13 creatures, so even putting it on like a Highland game is pretty good. It's just going to kill some dudes. Plus, it's just another powerful uncommon. I don't hate Scholar when we have Double Scanner and an Aviation Pioneer. I don't think we want a second growth. I don't care about Double Blue Cancel. I'm going to take the Scholar. I think it's fine here. I would take the Clan Caller if I thought we were going to see the other one come back. And a Rupture Spire is pretty good. Anybody convince me to do Dominaria? If you want to donate, I might do a Dominaria draft before tomorrow. But, like, I don't want to do it out of my own. I don't have the packs for it. So, like, Submerge Boneyard, Essence Scatter, or Rupture Spire are the picks here. I like having a second Essence Scatter. I think Boneyard's probably better because we don't need the green off of this. And, like, we're splashing black. I think Essence Scatter just might be better. We already have two fixing lands. And I'm pretty sure we can get more. We're, we're not guaranteed to get another Essence Scatter. I really have the Essence Scatter. This is a late sift. Also a giant spider. Hmm, interesting, interesting. I think I think I think scatter is great. This is like the latest card ever. I think it's sift. I, I think we can probably pick up another spider if we really really want one. I like having a cancel. Yeah, wall of mist is salvageable. I'll take the Scholar. I could see playing a 2-3 three for 3 just as like a blocking gentleman. What up, SD Common Cold? Oh, Naturalize? That's nice to go with our main deck Reclamation Sage. Cancel is very good. There's a lot of... I think that's actually fair. I also think it's specifically for M19 because there's a lot of cards like this, this, this. Like, these cards will all win the game on their own if not dealt with. And if you get to the late game and you're able to just hold up a cancel and counter their bombs, you don't care about a sky scanner. You don't care about, like, a Highland game. There's a lot of irrelevant cards in this format, and then there are a lot of really, really strong cards that make a lot of your other cards better. And I think being able to cancel those things is pretty much game-changing. Liliana's contract again. Interesting. I do like an archer, but we're not we're not trying to be heavy black here. I think this is the extent of my black. Which leaves us with Titanic Growth or Gearsmith Prodigy. So it actually might be Archer, comically enough. No black fixing lands. I guess a swamp is a black fixing land, but... I do kind of like Rise. Rising any one of these guys is great. It's also one black, which is probably... As a one black card, it's better than Archer. Oh, I do like Manolith here. We have 14 cards. I'm not really worried about cards. Or creatures, rather. I'm not really worried about creatures. I would like a Manolith just to be able to ramp to either 5 or 6 or 7. And it fixes. Like It's just a very solid uh, pickup for the deck here. Not really what we want to see for our second pick, but Druid of the Cal seems great. I will take that guy. I don't like passing Luminous Bonds, but... Manolith also goes well with Scholar of Stars. So that's cool. Yeah, seems good. Yeah, that's true. We can actually Essence Scatter one of your big guys and then get it back. I, I do like that, especially with Double Essence Scatter. Switcheroo seems good, especially with Double Sky Scanner and Aviation Pioneer. I do like another Druid, though. I think Switcher is probably too powerful not to, especially when we have a lot of Durly cards. Scanner, Scanner, Pioneer. Yeah, I think that's actually good. Bone Dash seems great. I 
I would probably cut the Sift for a Bone Dash. I would actually maybe cut Salvager for Bone Dash. I don't know if we need to recur any of these these cards. I don't think we're playing a second Scholar. I don't think I, I'm playing a second one of these if I'm considering cutting it. Yeah, I'm not going to hope to get like the Basilisk Declare Dominance combo. Like That's cute and all, but Declare Dominance just win, win, the, win the game on its own. We also have no Rabid Bites for it. I'd rather just have the Bone Dash. Yeah, I could. I, I mean, the thing about Titanic Growth is that I feel like it's always just a removal spell. Like, it makes your 1 1s into a 5 5. Like, it's very hard to play around Titanic Growth. You just kind of throw your guys in front and hope they don't have it. Yeah, we're probably playing this, especially with a Druid and a Manolith. I think this is better than a Dreadmaw here. <laughs> oh, God, that's two, seven, three, seven drops, though. I like it because if we hit Symbiont or Meteor Golem, like, the value is utterly insane. Even a Salvager, we get to kill a guy, get back the Vivian's Invocation. I think there's definitely arguments that can be made for both of these. I'm going to take this. I think it's very strong. Another Sift? I kind of like Abnormal Endurance. It's black, but I don't think we're playing second Sift. I don't think we're playing Wolves here. I don't think it's better than any of these other five drops. I'm not a big fountain fan. I don't think gaining the one life a turn is super relevant. I know there's a Highland game, which trades us something and gains us two. I'll just take the Highland game, actually. Gift of Paradise is actually perfect for this deck. Wow, it gains us life, fixes our colors. That's exactly what... Wow, that's a... That's a nice eighth pick. Uh, Gift of Paradise. Living in a Gift of Paradise. We've been spending most our lives and living in a gift of... We'll take a Highland game, number three. Highland game is great to board in against, like, the aggressive red decks. When did we get so many cards to cut? This is really sad. I don't think we want to cut Manolith because we do have... Three seven drops and two six drops, which is pretty insane. <laughs> it's so beautiful. Oh, man. It's a late neonate. I'm going to deny someone a neonate. Oh, another naturalize. Wish that was a plummet, but... I, it does feel weird to say, and I actually might agree with you. I think Deckhand can probably be cut. It's just not super impressive in this deck. Everything else is... This deck is great, though. This is this is probably one of my favorite decks we've drafted. I don't even know if Declared Dominance is where we want to be in this deck, but even putting it on, like, a Rex Sage is like 5-4. You're probably going to at least eat one guy. I think we can cut the Declared Dominance, actually. I think this is this deck looks great. I'm a fan. I'm only going to add one because we have uh, Manolith, Gift of Paradise, Foul Orchard, Rupture Spire. We only have three black cards. So, what is this? Orchard, Spire, Manolith, Rex Sage, and Swamp. That's five black sources. See, the reason we're playing Highland Game over Deckhand is because Highland Game gains us life. And our deck really wants to survive to the late game. Same thing why Gift of Paradise is better than like Manolith. Uh, I wouldn't cut Rex Sage. Rex Sage is great. Deckhand is greater than than Highland. As as you guys are, yeah, like you guys are going to keep saying this, but Deckhand is greater than Highland game one thousand percent of the time. Uh, in normal decks, I think this deck is a deck where if we can survive to the late game, we win. So Highland game is really where you want to be. I'm not I'm not in the game to try to deal a couple points of damage with the part of Deckhand early. Did I say Rex Sage? I meant Gift of Paradise, Manolith. Uh, you, you know what I meant. Like, <laughs> why why are you being like this? Four, five, six. So six, seven, eight, six, seven. What is this? 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, seven, 
14, 15, 16, 17, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9. Oh, you don't like Highland Game personally? That's fine. I mean, that's totally fine. I think it. I, I think it's a serviceable creature that fills a role. It's a two-one for two, which is uh, a a pretty standard rate in most draft formats. And in a core set, I think it's totally fine. Um, you just want a creature that gains you some life. It blocks. It chump blocks something. It it trades like it. It does things early, and you get to survive. Like it's really not. It's it does it does what it's supposed to do. Like you don't have to love it. You just have to accept that it has a role to play, and it's playing that role. Uh, yeah, this deck looks sweet. We have a lot more blue cards. Yeah, like a lot more. Blue, blue. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight green. All right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we're gonna add one more blue. So it's eight seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight green and nine blue total. Uh plus Rex Age and not Rex Age. God, I keep saying Rex Age. Gift of Paradise and Manolith. Yeah, this deck seems great. rough yeah it's fine put you on the bottom we don't need a fifth land right now Peach, thanks so much for the for the Twitch sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I assume those are I assume those are those threes are E's, and I'll call you Peach. Wow. Some guys have all the luck. I tried to pose that on a question. What? Oh, excited for Cube tomorrow? Yes, Cheshire Pratt. I definitely am excited for Cube tomorrow. The A ramp is real. You done messed up, A A ramp. Sometimes when you draw a gift of paradise when you need it. Lucky, 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 lucky. lucky. Oh, we're real close. So we're going to go blue, blue, green, black, this guy. Wow, if we just draw land, land, we're great. If we draw any non-6, non-7 drop, we're okay. I will not use the ability because I don't have any other dudes. If we draw a 2 or a 3 drop, it's pretty good because we can play it, put a counter on it. Still attack for 2. The cube is the Pro Tour cube. This guy's aggressive. Do I block here? I don't see why they would attack and not just use the ability. Oh, that's a good one. Would you like to use this ability when you have no other creatures? Nah, I'm good. Thank you, though. Blue, black, one, two, three, this guy. Are you excited for Cube tomorrow? Yeah, man, I actually am excited for Cube tomorrow. Thanks for asking.
I don't see why the mana base wouldn't work. We have like six sources of black mana and nine sources of green and blue. Like, wow, that's rude. Famished Wand? I don't even know what that is. Let's get in there again. Oh my god, we're going to be Cuban Pete tomorrow. That's amazing, dude. That is amazing. Fear the Monkey. Yeah, I'm actually a little excited about Cuban tomorrow. Alright, let's do it. Nope, that ain't gonna do it. My name is Cuban Pete. I'm the king of the Meteor Golem. So Meteor Golem is just better than these other, the other choices, right? Meteor Golem will kill your... Axe. We're gonna fight your Neonate. That was a nice little two for one. And it cost the same price as a Meteor Golem would. If you want to take a turn off to draw a card with this, that's totally fine. The one thing I didn't want you to do is uh, murderous axe up your creature and be able to trade with my guys. So. We could also... we could Actually, we could switch a Rue here if we draw a land. Which seems pretty good, because then we get to make a 5-5. Five five. I'll just keep that, I guess. I'm actually just going to attack with both. If they want to trade here, that's fine. We also have Rise, so getting a Meteor Golem in the graveyard is definitely not the worst. I'm sorry to hear about cubes tomorrow. I know how much cubes. Yeah, it's the worst. It's okay. We're just going to pretend it doesn't exist and draft more M19. Like you do. God, this is just rude. Why are you going to be taking so much vengeance on my guys? I don't foresee us needing Foul Orchard, but if they have something like uh, Mind Rot, I really don't want to. Seems fine. We got rid of an Abnormal Endurance. If you're inside of a cube to bring back All Star Draft, I think it was Rivals Vixlon. That is not an All Star an All Star Draft format by any means. Please don't joke. Still not out of the woods yet. Wow. Yep, this is a good reason to get rid of, to keep the Foul Orchard in hand. The problem is if we switch a route with the Symbiont and give them Sky Scanner. Well, now we're just going to trade and give them Sky Scanner. Yeah, that seems good. One, yeah, we get to keep up. One, two, three, four, five. This is my guy, so if you want to bounce it at some point, I just get to keep it. Thanks for getting my symbiont back. 
Well, if they play creatures, we're in good shape. So that's cool. Bone Dash into Essence Scatter. Or vice versa. Nope. My name is Cuban Pete. Chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom. And that's the game. All right. That's all it took, I guess. Oh, Salvager would have been real good. Salvager, get back Essence Scatter. Now we'll just hold this up again. Or get back Vivian's Invocation. Yeesh. I might want Cancel in here instead of like Bone Dash because they do have things like Rise from the Grave. And uh, sometimes that's not just going just to cut it for you. I think we can keep this hand. Sky Scanner actually theoretically helps us get lands. If we hit a land, we get a land. That's that's my theory. I don't foresee this creature coming at us anytime soon. Oh, that's a good one. Green blue has not struck me as one of the best archetypes, only because uh, you don't have a lot of ways to. Oh, this is actually, I was thinking of the 2-3, the, the but still, it's just a 1-1. One, one. I don't really care about it a tremendous amount. Oh my god, Matthew, already tell me this is a video of you feeding horses carrots. Oh my god, this is the best. Come on over, buddy. You know you like what I'm showing you. I'm watching this horse. Oh, he's such a gaity. I can't handle this. This is amazing. Oh my god, look at this. Come on, don't be shy. Come on. Come on. Come on over. There you go. Oh man, they're so cute. That's real good. These guys are adorable, dude. Oh, they didn't eat any carrots? Do you throw the carrot? Is that what happens here? Oh man, that's great, dude. That's fantastic. Hmm. Aviation Pioneer, huh? Alright, so we're a little behind here. I will block a pride mate if you let me. <laughs> Jesus, smoking dope 420, man. Take it easy, buddy. Take it easy. I mean, all right, maybe you have inspired charge. I still don't think it's that bad. I think this is fine if you have Inspired Charge. If you have Revitalize, that's also fine. Make a stand. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, both of these guys... The Sky Scanner already replaced itself, so I'm basically trading an Archaeologist for a Mega Stand, which is... Just kind of meh. Isn't there something weird about looking into a horse? I don't think so. This is a lot of dudes. Oh wow, this is this is actually disgusting. We might be forced to seal this to Johnny's pride mate. We're gonna double block one of these vanguards, and then just switcheroo the other guy. How do you feel about draft tomorrow? Can't beat M19, right? Yeah, I think I think that's true. I think you just can't beat it. We're just gonna do that. Thankfully, we can just continue our M19 drafts tomorrow. Why not block with? Why not attack with all three? If you anticipate me making this block, then like it's just 100% better to attack with this guy. 
There's no trick I could have for one island. Land. Well, that's not a that's not an island. Or any land. I don't know why I said island specifically, but yep, that's not one either. But maybe we'll draw one next turn. <laughs> Did it have summoning sickness? I mean, that's a good reason. I don't know why people play summoning sick deck, summoning sick creatures, and then non-summoning sickness decks in their haste decks. That seems weird. Chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom, chick, chicky, boom. I'm really bad at drawing lands. And then there's this dude in the in the YouTube comments is like just gonna blame it on mana screw, I guess. Well, yeah, I actually am because I didn't draw my lands. If I drew lands, then I wouldn't blame it on mana screw. That's just how magic works, right? Land. I guess we'll be sifting and hopefully hitting a... Hey, we hit some lands. All right. Uh, we don't have rise, so I don't really want to throw out a valuable creature. I guess we just throw out a island, play a forest. We take six, seven, eight, nine this turn. Yeah, that's good. That'll end up well. Ten, actually, because of the vanguard. And then their guy is tapped, so we can't actually block. Yep, that's pretty good. Yeah, see, again, like, I mean... Yeah. It was our turn six and we missed two land drops. We missed a land drop and we had to use a sift to find another land drop. So like Yeah, we're just dead here. Yeah, that's not gonna do it. Alright, let's try again. Try again, try try again. See this is a situation where like if we had a Highland game to just block their early guys, it'd be great. I want to take cancel out. It doesn't seem as important as just having guys to to survive. Hmm. You can probably take Rex Sage out too. Yeah, this hand seems fine. It doesn't have things, but it has every color we want. We have double green, double blue, and a black, which is just perfect. Which means you can play pretty much anything we draw outside of six and seven drops, obviously. Like you do. It's too Nate, baby. Now it's too Neo Nate. That was actually a good draw because now we get the Skyrider Patrol. Uh, unfortunately, neither of these are going to be good yet. I mean, but without... There's no pressure on the board right now. We could have played this post-combat to avoid the trigger, which is actually going to save us some time. But we now we get to hit no in F6. So this is all just technical stuff that I'm mentioning right now. It has no bearing on, this, on the actual... All hand draws, he just messaged me and he's like, I have more free time. Do you want to try and relaunch Freshly Brewed? People ask me all the time about it and also I miss you. <laughs> oh man, dude. And I'm like, yeah, people ask me about it all the time too. Steven, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. I'm just going to block here. If you want to use your turn using Make a Stand, that's totally fine. I mean, I'll try to make a stand for a Skyrider Patrol. I'll trade an Abnormal Endurance as well, because your guy doesn't actually die, so you don't get the bonus. That's fine. 
Yeah, people ask me about Freshly Brewed all the time as well. Do I just want to rise from the grave this guy? It seems good enough. I guess we can wait a turn. Like, we're not under any pressure, and we can just play Symbiont next turn, followed by Rise on the Symbiont if it dies. What's your biggest flaw as a human? Um, I am incredibly insecure. I think that is my biggest flaw as a human. Uh, I, ta I take things that are, are meant as... Um, I take a lot of things personally. And... Um, I always feel like I suffer from imposter syndrome more than anyone I, I know. And I always think that people are like, um, like, that's why I'm like, when someone's going to donate me tickets or donate me money or like, um, it took me the longest time to even start doing deck critiques because I was like, no one's going to pay this. No one's going to care about, you know, what I have to say about decks. Like it was just a bunch of like, I, I just didn't feel, you know, like I don't, I don't, you know, a lot of times I don't consider the fact that I've done work for Blizzard. I've done work for Bethesda. I've done work for PC Gamer. I've done work for Channel Fireball and Star City Games and TC. I've like written for every site at least once, you know, for for Magic. I've top rated Pro Tour. I've top rated GPO. So the Community Cup. Like my resume is actually pretty good for for Magic and for gaming for gaming stuff in general. And um, you know, sometimes I just don't consider that. Hmm. That would have been nice. So we have seven mana. We can actually rise this guy. And keep up Essence Scatter. We can also play this and Manolith and keep up Essence Scatter. One, two, three, one, two. We can keep up this. This is like the most true thing ever. Um and like I don't think you realize it until you start making your own content. Didn't want to see the seventh land. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do here, though. Like, if we rise this guy, we can actually put a counter on this, this turn, which is nice. But I don't think we're going to be doing that. I think we're actually just going to play Highland Game in this. We're going to double block, maybe. I don't want to rise here because I don't really care about getting this back. We can actually get back their Gallant Cavalry. But I really just want to get Symbiont back again. And I want to keep up Essence Scatter because the sooner we get Essence Scatter down, we get to uh, get it back. I guess we can actually take up, we can get Scal Salvager back as well. And they don't do anything. All right. I'm okay with that. That's also pretty good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mana. So five, six, seven, eight. We can do both. This is really interesting. There's been some research done on that. Like, or maybe it's just hypothetical. But people remember bad things much more clearly because it's your tribe loves you a lot. Great, fine. They don't murder you. But if your tribe ever hates you enough to get... The, the consequences from a bad thing, from people disliking you is so much more pr prominent than the than the consequences for someone loving you, right? Two, three, four, five. I want to wait for one more land, though. Or do I? 
Waiting for one more land lets us both rise, activate, and essence scatter. I guess we could just rise and not activate, which seems pretty good. They're at 31 life. That's a lot of life. We just have a lot of things to do here. attack for six but then they attack for a lot more i'm just gonna attack for three here we do have to start getting damage in at some point yep we're taking two a turn three a turn oh god that's brutal yeah and this is why i'm not a super huge fan of the the blue white deck or the blue green deck because you just sometimes you just don't have answers for cards like this on board i hate horses wow that's aggressive That's a card. I mean, you can't attack with either of these guys, so that's good for us. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's really good. <laughs> okay. Feeling okay about that. Yep. All right, now we can start getting back on track. Hopefully, we have two cards, so they're two cards. I feel like our cards are better, but... That seems fine. <laughs> Sift is pretty strong here. Um, we could also salvage or get like Isareth back, which seems pretty insane. Trade like Thopter for Isareth. I don't have eight mana though. Let's sift first. Because any land we get to play Salvager this turn as well. We can discard that. Play a land. And next turn we get to Meteor Golem, which is super nice. Or we can just keep a vest and scatter in case they have like other Epicure of Blood or something. Which is kind of scary. I guess we can get back Switcheroo though. And I kind of like not having... Uh... Yep, that's fine. I'm just going to... I don't want to always yield to that though. Yeah, let's get back Switcheroo. Even getting the Neonate here is actually pretty good. Wow, I like this I like this horse chat we've got going on here. This is pretty funny.
Well, that's pretty scary, but... We have a Meteor Golem. We have a Switcheroo. Twenty-five to nine. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is ten mana. We can actually Meteor Golem and keep up. The problem with killing Neonate is that they just get it back with Isereth, so we kinda have to kill the Isereth or Switcheroo it first. What's our plan here? We could just steal the Neonate. It's actually not terrible considering we have an Epicure of Blood of our own. Nice cards, butt munch. <laughs> oh, it's still good. It's still good. Yeah, they activate in response. Their Johnny's Pride make it larger. This makes it more larger. <laughs> more larger. Yeah, I like actually neonates ceiling neonate sounds pretty good actually, which is kind of funny. Let's attack first, huh? I am willing to take the one point. If we're switcherooing this guy. Oh god, what are you doing? You're just activating Neonate? Are you mighty leaping here? That's pretty scary. No. Are we dead to a Mighty Leap? Yikes. They put us to they put us to eight. They have this guy, they put us to seven. They mighty leap this guy. He's gonna be one, two, three, four, five, six. They go to go to one. Actually, I might just be able to give them Salvenger. Then we have, we'll have two creatures to block, so we can go block, block, and then they can actually just kill us with the rest of their guys. We're not stealing the Pride Mate because you just don't care. Like, Pride Mate's irrelevant. This guy's going to kill us. It also helps us gain life, and we have Epicure of Blood, which also increases our clock. Yeah, they're going to use this in response. I am surprisingly scared of a Mighty Leap here. But we do have three ground guys to block their... Actually, yeah, if they if they Mighty Leap their Pride Mate, we'd have three ground guys to block their ground guys, so... We also gain two from Highland Game if that happens. Like, this forces us to win within a specific amount of turns. All right. That is a good sign. They might have just they might have also just been activating neonate there as well and then just like I'll just wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have 10 mana. So now we can actually just kill Pride Mate with Meteor Golem and then keep up both Essence Scatter and Neonate. We can also kill the Isereth, uh, which I think might be better, but I think Pride Mate is scarier. I mean, they could just get it back with Isereth, but then we actually get a chance to block Isereth. Which I think is fine. 
Interesting. Okay. Actually, maybe last turn you should have made a stand. This is an interesting game. Yeah, I think last turn was a nicer was a was an alpha turn because like you're at twenty one, like you're at no risk of dying on the crackback. This guy wasn't in play, like so we'd have like four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve power at the most, and we'd probably try to trade with some of your guys. So yeah, I think using this as just a counter spell on uh, meteor golem is not even not as good. A lot of lands, not a lot of things to do with our lands. Yeah, Mighty Leap is a real thing. We might just have to stop attacking based on Mighty Leap. I'm gonna be honest. If we we very very well could lose to a Mighty Leap. Um, but their hand would have to be like Mega Stand, Mighty Leap. I think it was Mega Stand. Like I don't think they also have the Mighty Leap here. I think they're gonna crack Fountain here. All right. If it, if they had Mighty Leap, they would probably just play Mighty Leap, right? Like I don't think they're slow rolling a Mighty Leap here. Yeah, that's fine. It's not ideal, especially because we don't have a flying blocker anymore. Yeah, this is this is a game, all right. I think our deck is great. Vivian's Invocation, Meteor Golem, Psychic Symbiont, those are all great draws. Um, Mystic, the the two one that draws us cards. I don't know if we boarded that guy out. We did not, which is great. So he's still in here. That's that's four cards that I can think of. Psychic Symbiont, can't essence scatter that. All right. <sighs> Spaghetti Toucher, thank you so much for the resub. Really appreciate it. Invocation and Golem is insane. Yeah, you just have to start attacking with the Thopter here. I don't know why. You probably could have done that sooner, but. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not going to Essence scatter that thing. I just don't care about it. You can see why Cancel would have been great against Rise. Alright, now we get the last card. Black. It's going to be the... Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're so close. That's real good. Alright, now we're not worried about... Uh, Mighty Leap anymore. <laughs> Symbiont into Meteor Golem is pretty good. We can also double block the two-headed giant, two-headed zombie with a golem and a salvager. Seems fine. Like, we just don't need the Symbiont. Um, actually, we can, we're going to take a hit because we have Meteor Golem to kill the Symbiont, so that's totally fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, like, if we don't take the Neonate, we have to try and win the game in, like, eight turns. And I just don't foresee that happening against this deck, so... Well, see, now we have decisions to make here. Thank you. Spencer, three months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. All right, so this is pretty easy, I think. We go three and four on you. Then you get to choose Epicure, I'm sure. And then zero, three. I really want to keep this guy around, though. Six six pride mate is really no joke. Yeah, I really want to keep the neonate around. I think we block like this and like this, and we'll just take three and we'll activate neonate. We have five minutes, but I'm pretty sure we can win this game in five minutes. So we're trading one for one here. Yeah, they have one card in hand. I don't foresee a combat trick. Uh... Oh, that was a good draw, too. And this is great because it's mine, so like they can't even ice Aureth to like get it back from us. Ain't nobody in the sand sand city. I have two of them as well, but do I see that? I mean, like. Just gonna play this dude. And we actually are gonna play a land here because uh, if we draw a land next turn off of the archeologist, I wanna be able to maximize the things we can do. Pride mate number two. That's fine, we can't do anything about it, so. Putting it on Thopter is pretty aggressive. Interesting. Uh oh. Intriguing. Like, we're at a point where we can just, like, we're dealing them two and then two, so they go to three, and then Psychic Sunbite actually just kills them next turn. So they kind of have to. Do what you gotta do. Do they have any floats in the graveyard? No, they have a gallant cavalry and a two headed two headed zombie, which is fine. And if they tap out for this, yeah, this is great actually. Beans and cornbread, burk, 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 beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread, how to fight. Uh, nope, we're not blocking with you. Block, chump block here, block you for real. And we're not. It's not over yet because they still have a Thopter. Hmm. 
If we had a way to kill that guy. One, two, three, four, five, draw. Why are you still yielding to that? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. They have to block with Thopter here, unfortunately. All right, well, this game is close, but I think we're still fine. Yep, that doesn't do it. I will, uh, you know what, it doesn't, it's irrelevant on the board. And if their last card is something busted, don't really think that's going to go well. Neonate and Epicure of Blood actually won us this game, which is pretty comical. Yep, put it on the horse. Um, block this guy and, you know what, I don't know, I guess block here. And wow, grindy, but we won that match. Thank goodness. Woo. And this is why we like, I mean, I, I, presumably, actually, Departed Deckhand might have actually done some work in the late game there. Um, but I still appreciate the life the Highland game provided, so that seems fine. This hand seems actually very, very good. Play this, play this, get one back, scatter an early thing, play a Manolith. We're doing it. That was match one. It took a while. I mean, I had three minutes on my clock. They had five minutes on their clock, so... The Platypus Army is actually a big fan. I don't know if you guys knew that. Platypus Army... Anybody getting tacos for Taco Tuesday? Is that a thing? Beans and cornbread. Now we need land. Land into Manolith would be great. Already eating some. Dang. Slow down there. You know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I will take it. Well, they missed a land drop. We kind of didn't miss a land drop, I guess? Like, gift into, uh, and <laughs> drew it into gift seems good, I guess? So now we get to next turn, we can go Manolith into Essence Scatter, which is super nice. One, two, three, four. If we hit a land... Still can't do anything. I guess we can play patrol if we, if whether we hit a land or not. But I'd rather just be ramping into these guys. Yep, this is a good game. All right. Well, we're just gonna pass here. I'd rather play Skyward Patrol with six mana anyway because I like being able to just add mana the turn it comes or to add a counter the turn it comes into play. Ugh. That guy's not great, but it's obnoxious here, so with nothing else on the board, I think we're gonna counter it. Land. 
Rex Age. This is actually the best time to play this, I think. We could play Patrol, but it just doesn't do anything. It wastes some mana. If we play Patrol on six, uh, then we can either keep up Essence Scatter or make a counter. Oh, wow. I didn't even realize they, they discarded Dreadmaw. Yeah, that's pretty okay. We can do better. Because <laughs> also, it just gets shut down by like a Luminous Bonds. So it's not the best, but it is a solid option. One, two, three, four, five, six. So now we're probably just going to play Skyward or Patrol, keep up Essence Scatter. That seems pretty hard to beat. Seems pretty easy to beat. Hit some of the nice cards, butt munch. <laughs> I like that we have Switcheroo and Rise from the game, and we so we are kind of like stealing their cards. That's actually pretty funny. It's a gallant cavalry, ladies and gentlemen. Druid of the Horns. No, we're just gonna. You know, we have this, so you're kind of just baiting it, which is fine. You're kind of just debating it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Palaka Worm. Knightly Valor? Okay. No, in the blue, in the white green deck, I think Plummet's fine. Same thing with uh, Naturalize. Like, I'm, I've, I've come around to those cards. Staggy. Did you not register that last land? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. Try again. Try, try again. I like the plan was like Druid of the Horns, Druid of Horns into Knightly Valor. That's pretty solid. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Beans and cornbread. Jay Schillen, thank you so much for the sub. I really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. card is not reasonable. Uh, blue and a green. Let's say yes. Target Meteor Golemis. Put you to two. Now you gotta deal with three float boys. Burp, 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 burp. I'm just going to take this before they cleansing Nova. We did it. Sift is a good card. Yeah, our deck seems great. They have a bunch of fat fat boys and we got a bunch of Essence Scatters and a Bone Dash. That seems good. I didn't see Naturalize or Titanic. Uh, Naturalize being super relevant. Rex Sage is going to do that, that work. It's fine.
Oh, this hand is great. Every card does something else. I will keep this hand. The funny thing about the beginning of the hand was not great because we didn't get to actually uh, draw our lands. Like, we were just actually like, oh, turn three land is Druid of the Cal. Turn four land is Gift of Paradise. Um, I think we actually just drew it here instead of drew. I think we just drew it instead of uh, Spire. Hmm. So we can go Gift here. But then we can't actually also play Spire. We can go Spire here, but we can't do anything else. We can play Sky Scanner, try to hit another land. Actually, we can go Spire into Highland game. I think we're just going to try to hit another land here. This is greedy. But not that greedy. Maybe because my parents seem to help me get my own ice cream truck where I don't have to pay rent every day and then work towards paying it. That sounds awesome, dude. And then work towards paying it off instead. The benefit would be able to work on Saturday, which I... Oh, that's... Yeah, Saturday seems like a legit day to work. I spoke to the football field and soccer fields. They went 250 months for me to sell ice cream in the parking lot, which is fair, but it's not great if I can... Yeah, if you can't do it on, like, a Saturday, too, that's pretty rough. But, Matthew Gorey, that sounds awesome, dude. I'm really glad this is going well for you, buddy. One, two, three. We're going to gift here. And then play Rupture Spire, I guess. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we want to actually keep. We want to actually play a land this turn. The Daily Show. I assume Matthew Ori currently rents the ice cream truck so that he has he's having to pay monthly rent for the for the truck. Whereas if he if he buys his own truck flat out, he no longer has to pay that rent. Dyer, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. I assume that's how you pronounce that. If not, I apologize. Um, we're gonna do a thing that has the thing attached. Maybe we hit a land. Maybe we hit our Meteor Golem land. We hit a switcheroo, which is actually pretty good against the big green idiot deck. Wow, Matthew already streaming at 720p from the ice cream truck would be would make my life. That would be amazing. I would love to see an ice cream mic stream. We have six mana. Probably just playing Pioneer Highland game here. <laughs> Obviously because we have no targets for Meteor Golem, we have no targets for Switcheroo, no targets for Rexage, and no targets for Salvenger, so... Salvager, not Salvenger. I'm a big JD Salvenger fan. If you guys... Uh... Thankfully, we're just playing a bunch of Dirtles, though. We don't have any big threats. Well, that's a... That's a... Oh, where were you last turn? Anyway, it's gonna... We're just gonna do the same thing we did last turn. It's gonna be real sad. I'm not thrilled about it, but... I can't not do it just out of sadness, you know? Ugh. What are you going to do? The platypus army deserves better. Oh, man. So sad. So sad. All right. Well... Nice cards, butt munch. <laughs> oh, God.
This hand's okay, I guess. I don't think this is a mull, for sure. That's weird that it only played out of my speakers. That's very strange. All right, well, nice. We're doing we're doing a nice slow boy today. I'll give you the cancel mana. So we've only drawn land so far. Not bad. Not bad. All right, that I can deal with. I think mine's better. I think mine is better. Assuming you're Jun, though, you're probably just gonna kill this, so. Yeah, definitely not blocking that. Play an artifact. That would be such gas, dude. That's not an artifact at all. We could play land, play Rex Sage, pump Rex Sage. How long do we keep Bone Dash up? I think we actually have to do this. Get a 3-2 out of it. Next turn we can also play another island and then Bone Dash. Which is fine. Or activate, you know, Bone Dash and we get a 4-2 out of it. So... The problem is if they do have Abnormal Endurance, which is very likely what they have, uh, this guy gets to kill both of our guys and come back, which is pretty brutal. I don't want to take six, though. Yeah, I, I don't think we can actually not... Yep. I feel like if we did this last turn, then we can actually counter this guy, which would have been reasonable, but... I mean, then we lose our Doom Dissenter. Okay, this is a good amount of lands. This is where the the, the idiot in the comments is like, well, I guess you're going to complain about Mana Screw again. Well, okay. Yeah, when you draw nine lands, three spells, usually that's what happens. It is not a... Is this live? Don't get to draft a lot, so drafting by curious you keep making great content. Okay, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. The Busy Bee, really appreciate it, buddy. Fashion related to the party. Yeah, we're pretty much dead here because we can't block either of these guys. All right. Well... I think we want a Highland game for a Bone Dash.
I don't actually hate Wall of Mist here. Coupled with something else, like it's it's always a one for one with the two headed zombie because you can just block with the Wall of Mist and anything else, and they can't kill both. I also just don't hate Titanic Growth to play around their their things. Actually, Tellurian Scholar might be just better. Blocks two threes. Yeah, I think Deckhand is great, but I don't think it's great here. Yeah, I think this is fine. Hey, we found our Wall of Mist. I'll keep this hand. Five lands means we're probably going to draw a good amount of lands, unfortunately. Yeah, I'm not trying to be uh, dealing them two damage every turn with a departed deck hand. What I'm trying to do is survive until the late game so I can cast my significantly more powerful uh, five and seven mana. Five, six, and seven mana cards. I think we're probably going to lead off with an Essence. Keep up Essence Scatter up. Keep up Essence Scatter up. I mean, this, all things considered, when we have five lands, this is a great draw. Alright, this is nice. So on turn four, we can play Rupture Spire and still keep up Essence Scatter. Yeah, I'll, I'll counter that. This is nice because next turn we can just draw two if they don't kill this, which we're definitely doing. Which is this guy's, which means this guy's probably definitely dead. This is not a creature that survives. Oh, or is it? Yep, that's pretty good. Well, we got a turn out of it. What can you do? I mean, they have two cards, we have six cards, so that's pretty good. Discard Poison Tip Archer. Good lord. That's fascinating. I will take five. I will take three. Demanding Dragon's pretty good. <laughs> Not bad. Yep, that's pretty good. Well, I don't really feel like taking nine. Yep. That's interesting. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine mana. So we can play both. 
Is it just Symbiont? If we, if we play this, they might just sacrifice. We actually give them a way to sacrifice their entire board if we actually play that. If we rise the Archer and they have another Active Treason, we're basically just dead. They Active Treason, if they sack their board, they kill us. This at least gets one of the two cards out of their hand. And it gives us a, another block. We can double block this if they don't have anything else. I mean, Rise is also fine, like uh, on the on the Archer, because we can still we can still block this guy. But the problem is, um, we don't have I, we don't have this guy in play. We have this guy in play. If we go Rise, this they steal it. They can attack with this, 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 and this. Uh, they would have two lands. And then, like, we're just taking extra damage for every single creature that dies. Which is pretty bad. God, I'm cringing at the abnormal endurance here. Oh, God. Never don't have it. I'm ready. Wow. All right. Wow. All right. We did it. We didn't do it. That's basically just abnormal endurance 2.0. Yep. That's pretty good. Seven to 12 again. Pretty bad. Pretty bad. Pretty sure we're dead. Uh, if we don't sack anything, we take five, we go to three. They'll have three guys. Yep, pretty brutal. I mean, just think if we drew two more spells instead of two more lands, we'd have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven mana sources, and five, six, seven, eight, nine. We'd still have two more mana sources than spells. I consider this a mana source, obviously. It doesn't do anything aside from giving you mana. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 13 to 7. That's pretty brutal. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I'll just take two here. I think they're 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 playing around counter spells. You can sack Gravedigger play another Gravedigger. No? Okay. I think they're probably in disbelief. They're probably like there's no way you have uh three lands in hand because that's ridiculous. No one would have that. That's not a real thing that, that the shuffler would do for you, but <laughs> Okay, we have a good time. Yeah, we're pretty much just dead. Like, we can block one flyer, we block here. This guy kills us on its own. Uh, if they play Demanding Dragon pre-combat, we actually have to sacrifice this. And uh, they just kill us. Not a land, you say. Can I get my... Can I view my... Another land... Vivian's Invocation would have been obviously amazing. What would we have hit? Look at seven. One, two, three. That would have been four, six, seven. Yep, we would obviously get this. We would draw one. They'd discard one. We could fighty a thing. Yeah, deck was sweet. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Unfortunately, the last round was very, very aggressive uh, towards us. They just didn't like us very much, and we drew a ton of lands. Uh, not going to call it Mana Screw because some guys in the YouTube comments don't like that. They like to, uh, you know, they just they just think it's because I'm terrible. Either way, really appreciate the support. If you guys want to slam in uh, those like and subscribe buttons, if you guys want to check me out on Patreon and uh, Twitch, both those links are in the description. And uh, you can feel free to do all those things. So thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.